keep her looking nice and young and clean and, and young. young. And I do have a little pro tip for you guys. Now that as a whole, that's funny, it's like whole or a whole. And to be honest, everybody has told us they think our boats are brand new. What is it? It's a work boat. It's gonna get dirty. No, it's not. Scrub your boat top to bottom everywhere. My favorite thing about it, guys, is that it's pink. Work smarter, not harder. This video is brought to you by Undoes It. Welcome to another Gale Force Twins episode. In today's video, we are gonna be showing you guys some of our favorite ways to clean, maintain, and protect our boats. Plural, because now we have two. You guys ha know, now know we have this new, or new, used, Hughes 18 bone fisher that we absolutely love, and we're so excited. We actually have not cleaned her yet to the degree that we would have liked to since we've had her. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you all of our favorite tools, um, what we do with stains, what we do with fish blood, what we like to do to protect from the sun if this boat is sitting out in the sun on a trailer for extended periods of time. What do we do to keep her looking pretty, fresh, and new because she actually looks really, really good already as a 2001. So how can we continue to maintain that longevity and that beautiful look that this boat already has? My name's Amanda, Emily's behind the camera. This is Kona and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Now, the first thing that we are going to do is we are actually going to use some salt wash on our boat. Now, this salt wash, what it does is it's going to remove any salt deposits and also actually leave a film on the boat to protect your boat from salt. Because believe it or not, the air is incredibly salty. So the fact that this boat Wait, sat- Wait, talk about the jewelry and the That's nice literally thing. what I was about to say. So when we first started living in the Keys, I had silver jewelry that I left on my nightstand inside my bedroom, inside my closet, that tarnished within four months. So that's how salty the air is down here. So having a salt wash is a great, um, well, it's just a great product in general to make sure that you're really protecting your boat against the salt and the corrosion that's literally like in the air. We're gonna be diluting our salt wash so you can see how little I have in the bucket per gallon of water. There's quite a few ways that you can use the salt wash and there are directions on the back of the bottle on the different ways to do it. But what we're doing is we're going to be just diluting it in a bucket with some water and we are going to basically scrub it on, scrub it on the boat and rinse it off. What's really cool about this salt wash is that you can use it to flush your motors. Not only does it break down the salt, but it also has special corrosion inhibitors. So you can protect your motor, you can protect your trailer, and you can protect anything really on your boat. Don't forget about the hull of your boat, guys. The hull is what sits in the water. We don't have bottom paint on it, so the boat's not gonna be sitting in the water all the time, but we are gonna use the salt wash on the gel coat, the hull, pretty much anywhere that definitely sits in the water. And then of course, all the other places that Amanda was saying earlier, get exposed to the air. The next thing I wanna talk about is general boat soap. So the salt wash, we don't use all the time, but we use it when we feel like it needs some extra TLC. But boat soap, guys, can we just take a minute and talk about how many people use Dawn, use bleach, use household items on their boat. We're and guilty of it, we used to do it. When we chartered full time, we were completely guilty of it. We were tired, we didn't ran out of soap, let me run to the house, let me get some Dawn, some bleach, and guess what? You're gonna create some mustard gas. That is not safe, you guys. So, and you're going to deteriorate your gel coat, your hull, you're gonna deteriorate your boat, guys, because household items, they're not made for boats. So get a boat soap. We like this boat soap. I actually personally, my favorite thing about it guys is that it's pink. So anyways, boat soap or the other option is a non-skid deck cleaner. These two products, the boat soap and the non-skid deck cleaner is something you use 
every day. Now, I don't use both of them every day, but I always use one. So the Nazca Deck Cleaner is designed to get between all the little grooves, the itty bitty, teeny tiny, like sandpaper feeling grooves. Nazca is great, guys, because you don't slip. But the bad thing about it is it that collects it dirt. collects dirt. So if it's extra dirty, Nazca Deck Cleaner. Blood. Extra fish blood, Nazca Deck Cleaner. But and you just do like maybe you just went to the sandbar, maybe you, you know, did you he just, catch any fish? Did he catch any fish? Whatever. Or maybe, maybe you don't feel like it's that bad. Just regular boat soap. So these two products, Those are pick one, days. use it every time you wash your boat. Every time. This is gonna be the same process. Just scrub your boat top to bottom everywhere. You can scrub this on your callings, on your motor, on your hull, on your gel coat, on your trailer. If you wanna clean your trailer, guys, this is like your all purpose soap. So literally I'm just gonna scrub the whole thing. And I do have a little pro tip for you guys. If your boat is so dirty, so fish bloody, whether you're using regular boat soap or non-skid deck cleaner, do a really good soapy scrub. Go, go inside, drink a nice cold glass of water, cool off, come back outside, and then that soap will have like soaked up all the fish blood. So we'll do that if it's really bad. Instead of sitting there and killing yourself and scrubbing and having a sore back, we'll literally like scrub the whole thing, make sure it's nice and sudsy, go take a five minute break, come back out, either rinse it off, do one more really quick scrub, and then it's much it's all the dirt work, will just wash work away. smarter, not, not harder. harder. Now that as a whole, that's funny, that's like hole or a hole. Get it? The whole yeah, now hole. A hole the now that as a whole, the whole hole looks great. It's clean. The boat's clean. It's generally clean. Now, this is when you can go in and be like, oh man, there's a stain there. All this fish blood didn't come off. And this is where you can either do your regular boat soap, just scrub that area, let it soak, take out the non-skid deck cleaner, use that in those areas that are not coming up easily. And then something else I want to talk about, which we don't have an issue with because we wear boots but a lot of people have issues with black marks. So Undoes It literally has a black streak remover. So I'm talking like spray, get the mark off, and then you're good to go. Once everything is clean, I mean, the boat's clean, guys. So to be honest, you could walk away. You could say, boat's clean, I'm done, I'm gonna go inside. And we do that 100%. And you do, what's cool about the next step is you don't have to do it every time. So it would be protectant. Guys, you should protect your boat from the sun. We've talked about this many times. Think about what the sun does to our skin, to our hair, it lightens our hair. It gives us freckles and then it gives us wrinkles over time. Now imagine a boat. This boat is only six years younger than us. Think about that. Oh my goodness. So this boat has like been in the sun a lot. So we gotta protect it. Now the cool thing about this protectant is that I can use it on everything. Well, not everything, a lot of things. I am going to use it on my hull, my gel coat, I can use it on my vinyl, on this boat doesn't have eyes and glass, but on the Intrepid I can put on the eyes and glass. Literally everything, except what it says on the bottle, which it's pretty straightforward guys, just do not use on glass, carpet, concrete, grout, unfinished leather, suede, canvas, or flooring. So as far as a boat goes, it's quite a bit of places you can use this. So this product is a little different. We don't spray it directly on the item. We're gonna spray it on a cloth. So I'm gonna spray it on my cloth. Spray spray spray, 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 spray. Good, and now you're gonna, I'm gonna rub. rub it on. It's wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off, wax so off. So we're gonna use this microfiber to put it on our vinyl. If you guys watch our other videos, you have seen what the callings of the Intrepid look like. Those things are so depressing looking. So this time around, we're going to use it on our motors, on anything else that we feel like got damaged on the Intrepid over the years. We're gonna be extra on top of for this hues. Yep, and the cool part about this product is that you only have to do it every three to five weeks. So we're gonna get a second microfiber and then we're gonna basically buff everything out. Press microfiber. I'm just gonna go through everything that I've rubbed it on and buff it out. And it's basically, we're putting sunscreen on our boat. We're putting sunscreen If you on put sunscreen boat. on your face every day, put it on my boat every three to five weeks. She's and so pretty. keep her looking nice and young and clean and, and young. young. So to summarize the boat cleaning process one more time. So 
what we just showed you is not an every single day step. It is how you keep your boat looking pretty for a long time. So our everyday go-tos are gonna be our boat soap, our non-skid deck cleaner, and our black streak remover if there are black streaks on the boat. That non-skid deck cleaner is our go-to for fish blood. The boat soap's great for just dirt and grime and anything that is like in your boat. And they're all good for every day. They're not gonna remove the wax on your boat, the gel coat on your boat. They're not gonna deteriorate your boat, which is why you don't use household items because those will. Once we have all that done, we can use our salt wash and we can use our protectant and we can do our vinyl and we can focus on the specific parts of the boat as well, like your Isinglass, your vinyl, or maybe the uh, you can flush your engines with your salt wash. So those are kind of the things that we do to keep our boats looking good. And to be honest, everybody has told us they think our boats are brand new. Our Intrepid is a 2005. People think it's like two years old because we like to keep our boats beautiful. I hate the rule, oh, it's a bit, it's a, what is it? It's a work boat, it's gonna get dirty. No, it's not. We're gonna keep them pretty. Our goal is to keep this 2001 18 Hughes looking beautiful. And these are the steps that we are gonna be doing every day after fishing, every couple weeks, whatever it is, whatever product we're using to keep them looking good long term. So we hope that you guys learned something. I'm gonna go ahead and put details in the description box for you guys on if you are interested in getting any of the soaps that we use and that we like. So we'll go ahead and put all in the description box for you guys. We hope you had fun. I know that this has been a requested video for a lot of you and we want you to get out there, have fun and stay safe.